YouTube. This is Center Entertainment here playing Minecraft. And um today I'm gonna show you a map I made. It's really sick. Well not really. It's it's like in its beta's beta. It's in the alpha of the beta of the you know, it's it's nowhere near complete or anything. And um I'm gonna show it to you today. And then I'm gonna ask you a question. So I'm kind of lost in it. So anyway, here I am in the map. Um, the texture pack I'm using is called Leo Stereo's RPG Texture Pack. I, I don't have a link, but um, it's really cool, and that's the name if you want to Google it. I'll put it in the description. I'll also put a link to this map. The link I put to this map, by the way, the download link, will only be hardcore. I might give you a regular link if you message me about it or something, but the link I'm gonna put in the description is hardcore mode. It's a it's a great map in general. Like the seed is really good. The seed I put in, by the way, is Elder Scrolls Five colon space Skyrim. <clears throat> so yeah. Here it is. Sorry if I sound kinda weird, I have a cold a little bit. Yeah. So um it's got it's got great features, like hillwise and stuff, and it's just generally cool looking. And I'll get to the part about what I made in just a minute. What's down there? Oh, it's got like neat little holes and stuff. A lot of caves. I remember I saw another cave over here. Like, check this out. It's pretty amazing. <laughs> So yeah, here's a big nice open cave. And um Yeah. It's a great map. Um around here somewhere. Let me let me look. I saw a ravine somewhere. It was like yeah, down there. No. Shit. Oh, where was that? Oh, I think it was over here. No. Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> There's like a ravine here. And it's like, goes through a lake, and then it's like another ravine. It's pretty intense. Yeah. I'm on creative mode here. Um, to make all the stuff I was making. <clears throat> so, yeah. I started out making this fortress right here. <clears throat> There's like a hill. I kind of modified it a little bit. And um, I made this fortress. I'll show you the inside of this one. But I'm not going to show you guys anything else. Because I don't want to give away too much. So it's the inside. So it's got an interesting inside. Kind of try to make everything look Skyrim like. You know? Yeah. And then let's go look out tower. I start I spawn you off right here. And there's interesting things all the chests. So then after I made that fortress, I made this one right here. Pretty much the same concept as the first one. Made out of a hill and all. Yeah. It's pretty neat. Then this one right here, I couldn't really find another hill like the other two. So I just built it like right like that. I just made it extra tall. They they all have the same flag on the top. So yeah. There's a fortress. Then <clears throat> here I was originally planning on making a fortress right there, but then I found it to be a lot more interesting if I were to make a ruined fortress right there, you know? And then, like, the fences are supposed to be, like, rusted iron bars. Like, how the regular one has, like, regular iron bars. Yeah. So then here's the last fortress I made. And I also made a stronghold somewhere. I'm not going to tell you where, but you probably can imagine where. <laughs> so, yeah. <clears throat> so, that's about all I'm going to show you, as for now. And... 
this map is going to be really intense when I finish it. And um, here's the question I want to ask you, YouTube. Um, you see, I was originally planning on building a castle on this hill, but I didn't because I was thinking, you know, why would I put good stuff in all these forts everywhere if people were just going to like go straight to the castle and be like, ooh, castle stuff. So, um, what do you think I should build up here? I was originally planning on making a castle, of course, and that would have looked really great, but everyone would have just gone straight to the castle. They wouldn't have gone to any of the forts. <clears throat> then I was thinking, maybe I could make a village instead, but that would be the same thing. But then, I had this idea that I could have, like, a destroyed castle, kind of like that destroyed fort over there. And, um, it would rise a different, uh, um, it would ride a different flag than all the forts. Kind of like, a kingdom took over this kingdom and burned this castle to the ground and made their forts everywhere. And that was like a destroyed fort. So yeah, um, comment, rate, subscribe, tell me what you think about that idea, because, um, I want to build something up here, but, um, you know, I was also thinking, maybe I didn't need to build anything up here, I could build something way down back there, that you could only see from here, because you, can o you can't see this fort from there, so yeah, so you'd only see that fort, and then you'd go to that one, and that, that's what I was thinking would happen. So yeah, um, this fort has a couple of interesting things that will help you survive in the beginning. It gives you a little bit of food, some armor, some weapons. Then as you manage your way across the forts, you get better armor and weapons and stuff like that. More food, you know, because I was planning on only releasing this in hardcore mode. But um, if you message me, I might send you a survival mode one so you don't like hardcore mode in Minecraft when you die you have to delete your save so yeah so that's why I didn't want to just release it in hardcore mode that's the only thing from stopping me from fully wanting to release it in hardcore mode but for now I will and if you message me I'll just send it in survival mode so yeah tell me what you think comment rate or like I mean yeah they changed it uh, stupid YouTube okay so comment like subscribe you know and um See you later.